as the remains of an African banking leader, the late Dr. Herbert Wigwe, his wife Chizoba, and his son Cheesy are laid to rest on Saturday, March 9, 2024, in Ishiogo River State. Web TV engaged business and industry leaders on their reflections on the death, life, and times of the former Group Chief Executive Officer of Access Holdings, PLC. Um, never say die. Tenacity. Herbert would do anything, ethically of course, to land the transaction that he wants to land. He always put the business interests ahead of his ego, conflicts, any other issues that may come. And he had an innate skill to develop deep personal relationships with people. He was courageous. He was fearless. He, he had stamina and he had vision. Um, again, when you look at what he, he and his partner, Haigi Mokwede, what they've achieved with uh, Access Bank, you have no choice than to give them credit for an excellent work. Um, as his uh, body is committed to mother heart, all we can just say is um, his uh, soul rest in perfect peace. Herbert Wigwe was not just a business leader in the industry. He was closer than that because uh, he was, until his death, the chairman of the board of directors of Unified Payments, where I'm the CEO. And um, what I would say that to best describe describe the relationship I had with him and my experience with him is that rather than being my boss, which is what he should be as the chairman of the board of directors, for reasons well known to him, for who he is, he chose to be my friend and mentor rather than a boss. And even at that, he never compromised on what should be done by the management of the company. So that is how best to describe who he was. The company I work for right now is called NG Clearing. There was a position that was open on the board and um, certain people said, go and talk to Herbert. So I jumped on a plane. I flew to South Africa. I went to see Herbert and he's, you know, Herbert can have 10 different meetings going on at the same time. And Herbert said to me, Farouk, what do you want to do? I said, give me a chance to get on your board. I will turn it around. I'll build you a company. Fast forward about a year and a half. I am CEO of the company. Herbert was a risk taker. He believed in people and he worked, he worked you hard, but he, he had that ability to, to, to spot the good in people. And um, he gave you that chance and the rest, as I say, is history. It's a, it's a sad day for, for Nigeria, a dark day for Africa. You know, there comes a time in your life where it, it is as if everything just stops. You know, a friend you will call up and at the sound of your voice, he knows that your apps are low and it charges you not to give up. Tells you one or two things and gets your spirit to rise up again. The demise of this man will affect so many people. You know, amazingly, we got talking, he said, I will raise up champions across Africa. But the last count was 28,000 people he's pushing. So Albert becomes um, a man that has been able to bestride Nigeria and Africa. Indeed, uh, the world as a colossus, as a man, you need to look at and see what you can pick up from him. And I would say my generation, our generation, lost that man. A man who decided to say, okay, since the educational system in Nigeria has collapsed, let me build up something where we can bring out tangible people that can redirect Nigeria. Um. Thank you so much. Um, when we got the 
when I got the story of the of the crash, um, I was in shock, like every other person, and um, I still remember that day. I I walked a couple of sources. Um, to be exactly sure that what my initial source had told me was accurate and correct and uh, shockingly um, and disappointedly and disappointingly um, it was corroborated that indeed uh, the the shocking report was indeed true and um, it was a very very difficult story to break uh, considering the relationship that I had with him and the bank um, so it was my journalistic instinct to inform the public accurately and also um, manage my emotion because I was shattered um, but it happened, and um, I'm still in shock like a lot of people till today. Um, but we just pray that his, um, that his legacy and all that he's worked for continues to thrive even in his absence. Thank you very much, Mr. Osnogan. Wish you all the best. The tribute to the late Dr. Herbert Wigwe, his wife, Chizoba Wigwe, and his son, Cheesy Wigwe, through the week-long event of tributes in Lagos, revealed their glowing qualities, which will be cherished and remain a memorial in the hearts of their family, friends, associates, stakeholders, regulators, the government, and the entire citizens of Nigeria and Africa. May their souls rest in peace.